Pyromex can use a wide variety of waste streams to produce energy. Here you can see sludge from a waste water treatment plant. Another source could be biomass, like shown on this movie. The biomass is shredded and is thereafter dried in order to obtain optimum calorific values. Another source for energy is municipal waste, household waste and industrial waste. In this case we recommend to shred the waste and to sort out the valuables for recycling. The balance which cannot be recycled will be shredded into fine pellets which then can be used in the Pyromex machine as energy source with a higher calorific value than 4000 kilocalories. This is the final product which goes for electricity production. The pre-shredded waste is transported through horizontal and vertical transport systems into a storage bin. The storage bin is without oxygen because the Pyromex system is a system which treats the waste under intense heat under a controlled atmosphere. Each storage silo has an automatic level control, in-feed system, out-feed system and humidity control. Now oxygen has been removed from the waste and the waste is now fed through this conveyor system into the reactor for treatment. The reactor pipe is driven by this sprocket system which is water cooled and most important of all the entire reactor is temperature controlled with one, two, three, four individual temperature sensors which are transmitting the temperature via telemetry to the control center. This is the gas catch. In this chamber, the remaining solids and the gas is separated. The inert solid material is going down to the storage tank and samples can be taken with this sampling device. The gas goes up to the gas train for further processing. This is the last infrared sensor which measures the gases when they come out of the reactor. A look into the heart of the system, the specially developed high temperature reactor where the waste can be exposed to heat treatment at temperatures between 1000 and 1700 degrees depending on what is needed. You can see the waste in the back being turned in the reactor. The machine is working at the temperature of 1145 degrees. And this is how the temperature is created. It's through the Pyromex developed induction system, which is very, very economic and the only way to create such high temperatures on an economic basis. The gas is now fed into a precipitator where uh, the still remaining solid particles are collected for further treatment. 
Thereafter, the gas goes into a first wet washer and thereafter it is going to a cooling section and the second wet washer. And here we see the last wet scrubber where the gas is cleaned again to make sure that all residues are being washed out. And from here, the gas goes to a cyclone for drying. The synthetic gas which is produced in the Pyromax reactor can be used for many ways to produce electricity or be used in any other form where energy is needed, directly or indirectly. In this specific case, the synthetic gas was used to produce electricity by means of a gas engine. The picture shows three gas engines each producing 300 kilowatt of electricity permanently 24 hours a day. And this is an aerial view of the Pyromax site near the Munich airport.